My name is Soraya Blackman. My name is Aria Bruns. My name is Joshua Lucas. And we are from the St. Paul's Primary School. The name of our project is the St. Paul's Primary Solar Aquaponics Farm. The reason for our project is the need for renewable energy sources and the need to clean healthy sources of food. So the solar panel absorbs energy from the sun with and converts it into electric energy in the form of direct current, also known as DC. DC travels in a straight line to the battery where energy is stored. There is a monitor between the solar panel and the battery, which tells us how much charge is going or flowing from the battery to from the solar panel to the battery. Direct current cannot power any household appliance, so we have an inverter connected to the battery using alligator clips that converts direct current, also known as DC, to alternating current, also known as AC. There are four outlets on the plug, four outlets on the inverter, which we use, which appliances can be plugged into. For this project, we plugged in a pump. If we take our attention to the bottom, we would see that there is a filtration device. This device comprises of three main materials, gravel, mesh, and sponge. The gravel is very porous, so the water can flow freely through. But any plant-based or items that may fall through the holes will be stopped there. If it gets through the gravel, it will be stopped as the, or the mesh. If it gets through the mesh, it will be stopped by the sponge. Since the gravel is so heavy, it pushes down on the sponge and the water is repelled out. After that, it is pumped up by our submergible pump, which is right here on the middle right. In container one, we have a flotation device. And we put the flotation device in so that when we put the plant holders in, they will float. And we put the plant holders on them so that they will flow and they will not fully submerge underneath the water. And we had a fish, we had fishes in here. We had, we had fishes in here and we put them in there. And we put the fish in there so that when they stool, the nutrients from the fish stool goes into the plant and we have small holes underneath here right here so that the nutrients and the water can freely move through the gravel and at the bottom we have holes so that when a fish like the dirty water goes in it will be filtered out and then it will go to the pump and come back as clean water our Prime Minister said if we can't feed ourselves, then we reduce the foreign exchange being spent. We provide jobs, we produce healthy food, and we end up also creating the basis and platform for wealth. This way, we produce organic food and cut down on the food bill, which is $700 million a year.